Risa Foundation utilizes a comprehensive set of modeling tools for the simple creation of a variety of foundation elements. Model foundation elements such as grade beams, retaining walls, spread and combined footings, piles, and mat slabs. In this video, we will take a look at modifying slabs in Risa Foundation. So let's go ahead and get started. Risa Foundation allows us to make quick modifications to the slab edges, openings, and thicknesses. So let's see how it works. First, by clicking on the Modify tab under Slabs, this is where all of our modification tools are stored. The first tool we are going to show is the Modify Thicknesses. You can make modifications by moving corners, merging points, or deleting perimeters. I'm going to choose the Move Corners and click to apply. Then move those edges just by clicking on the corner nose and then clicking on a corner edge. And we can drag it anywhere around so I can use my project grid snap points here. So I'm going to go ahead and click all the way to the edge and it allows me right there to snap to those edge points. I can do the same thing with the opening. So if I click the opening tool, I can go ahead and modify edge openings and I can move a corner right by clicking on apply and then finding the edge I want or the corner I want to move. And so I'm going to make this a straight edge right here. So if you see my slab here as a rendered isometric view, you can kind of see how it looks a little bit. But maybe I don't want to have this whole bump out like that. So I can make those changes just by going here into the plan view. I can go ahead and say modify edges and redraw the edges to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and pick this edge right here and maybe click a point over here and go ahead and just redraw this whole area you see. So now you see it went from this uh, bump out of an opening to a much smaller one now. But what if I wanted to just delete this entire bump out instead? Well, I can go to the remove edge points and delete the corner edge points by clicking. And now my bump out is completely gone. The last tool here is pretty simple but handy for when we need to make a quick offset of our entire slab edge. So here in the offset tool, we simply enter our offset distance and click apply. Now our slab perimeter has been offset that distance. So all these tools allow us to make use of quick changes to our slabs in any direction. For more information on this topic or other RISA Foundation topics, please visit our website, risa.com.